everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Waramai First Nations people, the traditional custodians of the land on which these videos are made, and welcome to you, your guides, high guides of the universal energies. I've um, been asked by one of my gorgeous viewers to just do a uh, Ukraine-Russia update. It's been a while since I've looked at Ukraine and Russia. Uh, just bogged down something uh, horrific. Uh, winter will be coming before too much longer, another winter. However, when Trump is out, what happens with the Kremlin, etc., uh, the death rate uh, of the uh, Russian um, foot soldiers is just horrific. News came out a couple of weeks back that the um, Russians are bringing out of storage some incredibly old Tanks, uh, what am I looking at here? I think they're about from the 1960s, so we're talking about 60-year-old tanks. Um, however, uh, they are very um, simple to operate and simple to repair tanks, which is what they're needing at the moment because they don't have a lot of tank crews left. They're wanting uh, tanks that is basically point-and-shoot type situation. Um there's an entire uh, generation of Russians that are being taken out of the picture. They don't have a lot of um, wounded statistics in Russia because the wounded are not making it. It's just really uh, just quite horrific, horrific what's going on. So um, I'm going to have the F-16 fighters are set to arrive very shortly. Uh, Hungary, uh, with Viktor Orban and his recent rhetoric, uh, the EU have uh, declared that the foreign minister and defence minister meeting will not be taking place in Hungary, which it was destined to do so. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's have a look. Show me, show me the, show me the energy of Russia. So I'm going to use the runic tarot. It's quite a dark deck. I'm going to have a look at the energy of Russia. Then I'll have a look at the energy of Ukraine using my light seers deck. And then if we feel we meet, need some more uh, information, we might do a bit of a story tell. But let's have a look. Show me the energy of Russia at the moment. They have been attacking the Ukraine, a couple of Ukraine airfields. Um, in light of the F-16s going to be delivered. What I really got to pull to, I heard about this forever ago, and it sprung to mind when I was reading up about the airfield attacks. In in World War II, I believe the uh, Germans uh, set up some airfields, some fake airfields full of fake aeroplanes uh, to try and divert uh, the attack, the Allied forces attacks, air attacks, bombing and stuff away from the actual uh, flyable aeroplanes at, at real air, airfields. So the planes were made out of uh, just wood and canvas with no engine. They were just mo like life-size model planes. Um, and I'm actually picturing them as, I, as I'm talking about this. What happened is word got out uh, through the intelligence community and when the airfields were completed, the Allies flew over and dropped bombs, wooden bombs. <laughs> so basically they, the Allies knew that they were fake, uh, didn't bother wasting their ammunition on them and just dropped uh, fake bombs on the airfields to say, ha, ha, got you. So it's got a real feel of, of that sort of thing at the moment. Um, I don't quite know why, whether the airfields that the Russians have attacked are not actual significant airfields. It just feels a bit, it feels along those, those lines. So let's have a look. Let's have a look. What's the energy of Russia at the moment? The economy is in an in a absolute nosedive. You've got a whole generation of young men um, taken, taken out, whether they've left the country or they've been sent off to fight. It's just a big hollow in the, a big hollow in the, the generational of men. Let's have a look. Show me the energies of Russia at the moment. Yeah, something's dropped out. Let's have a look. The energies of Russia. Okay, 
Come on down. Let's have a look. What's this first card? The star. Oh, the energies of Russia, the star of hope and healing, the star of hanging on to your dreams of defeating evil. Okay, are they about to have an uprising, the rising of the star? Are they about to have a revolution? I suspect they may be because the second uh, signifier card here, it's the Nine of Cups, but for me it's very much about secret meetings in the corner of the pub, corner of the inn, um, the old hello, hello, listen very carefully, I will tell you only once or I will say this only once, whatever, those of my generation will know what I'm talking about. It's but that feel about it. Secret meetings in the corners of corner of the the pub to arrange a resistance. What have we got here? The hermit, the isolation, and the eight of swords finding themselves isolated uh, at the point of a sword. Um, this figure here, he's also put his sword down. It's a um, it's a surrender position. So at the at at the truth that is coming out. So the isolation and forcibly isolated, the energy is coming out, sort of truth, new beginning, new um, wielding of the sword, the light from behind the clouds, the darkness. Okay. And then we've got the seven of wands bringing down the fury upon the current plan. And the, those, the figures down here having to, well, I just think they're having the fury brought down upon them, having to defend their position, coming out of this surrender. This is powerful energy for Russia. It feels brink of revolution. However, timing's always terrible. The karma hanging over, uh, the indolence and indulgence of the wealthy living in the luxury and the devil. <clears throat> so this is the karmic energy, that devil energy being investigated. So this is the current ruling class, current karma, but the outcome the lovers, contract agreement, perhaps a ceasefire, a peace treaty, the rise of the feminine, Yulia Navalny, Navalny energy. I love the rainbow. Unity. Under the power of the female energy. Eight of pentacles. Skill work going on behind the scenes. Page of Pentacles. New um, energy being brought forward, new protection, new opportunity, new plan, new idea. And Page of Wands. Slav Ukraine. Uh, defiance. Defiance in the face of the win at any cost, abuse of power, the sneaking into camp, the lies, the betrayal, the deceit, an offer being made, the Knight of Cups, to hold on to what is really important and set flame to the rest because there is a tower moment coming for Russia and then a new beginning of protection and opportunity. Wow. Okay, I am just going to say we've got justice, the fights in the jaws of the beast, the queen of pentacles, the feminine energy bringing forward protection for Russia. We've then got the king of wands, a new plan being brought forward, the chariot, move, powerful female movement forward. It's a Freya. It's very much Boudicca type energy. The King of Cups, Biden administration perhaps, Blinken, 
He's been a fabulous Secretary of State, but this may also just be a new leadership coming forward. Wow. Bringing an end to the oligarchical money. And then we've got my Yulia Navalny card, Choice and Strengths. Okay, I am really feeling that the for Russia, there is going to be a revolt from within sooner rather than later. That's what I'm getting there. Timing is terrible with timing. Feels almost um After the US election, then you ride into winter. It almost feels like it's an overwinter thing. Overwinter. I keep getting the image um, from World War II of the Russian soldiers getting caught out in the cold and freezing to death. I, I keep seeing that image, and I wonder whether that is part of the uh, okay, I just got told abandonment. If you hear my guides, let me know. But I just got told um, abandonment of um, those at the front line is what I'm getting. While this is going on, I'm, so I'm getting, seeing an image of Russia itself, but I'm seeing the fighting back away from the Ukrainian border, like an overthrow happening. I don't quite know where Moscow or St. Petersburg or anywhere is in relation, but it's back from the border. And those on the border are just left, is what I'm seeing, without, without any support. Over winter. So this is going to, I'm just getting this is going to happen over winter. Right. So I'm looking at Ukraine itself. Yeah. Speedy truth. They're just about to hop on their bike and really bring it to. And then we've got the star card for them as well. The star of hope and healing and holding on to your dreams. So certainly the, the energies of Ukraine going forward, a lot of emotions that need to be that are going to have to be dealt with. Uh, it's going to be a massive rebuilding. A lot of um, PTSD that will need to be dealt with. But show me, show me the energies of Ukraine. What have I got? For? Something flipped over there. What's that? Uh, yeah, the need to. There's going to be an enormous four of four of uh, swords. An enormous need to retreat and heal. Show me the energies of Ukraine going forward. Show me the energy of Ukraine going forward. Show me the energy of Ukraine going forward. Ace of Cups. A cleansing. A new beginning. Bought with love. New partnerships. New agreements. New contracts. Bought with integrity and love, emotionally overwhelming cleansing. The second signifier for them is the Six of Cups, going back to how it was. Now there is never go; we can never go back to how it was, um, because there's only one way through life, and that is forward. But a, a, a wanting. To return to the safety and security of simpler times. Absolutely. So the energy behind the scenes. Wow. Okay. What a contrast. I know I'm using a completely different deck. I'm using the Lightseer's Tarot for this reading, but completely different cards. We had the Nine of Wands with the Runic, a uh, Nine of Cups with the Runic Tarot. But it has a different meaning because it's very much the, uh, I think that was here, um, the things going on behind in the corner, uh, corner of the pub. But this is a different energy, this Nine of Cups, and it's this is the energy behind the scenes. A joy, a uh, emotional freedom, 
from something that comes out of left field. Absolutely. At the moment, they feel like they're cut in half, but there is something unexpected that comes, uh, comes that uh, brings them this joy and this new beginning and cleansing. Look, at they're all cups so far, a lot of emotions here, but they're positive emotions. Uh, the King of Pentacles, the bringing forth of, um, first of all, financial aid. Now, I know Germany has said that they're going to cut their aid uh, in half, but they're doing that because uh, the approval to use the oligarchical money instead has come is coming through. So this is about uh, bringing forth protection, security, stability, financial aid. So where are we going here? And movement forward. Something unexpected and movement forward. The hierophant, the, the energy hanging over them. What a contrast. Um, deciding what future they want, stepping into their power and taking the steps to bring about a new future, a new beginning. And again, we've got the four of four of wands, uh, four of pentacles, slightly different place. But the karma hanging over Ukraine is deciding what is really important to hold on to in what can feel like a barren environment. An offer being made. Again, we've got this offer coming forward. Offer of a ceasefire. Perhaps, see where we go, and then an, a completion of a cycle. So we start with the Nine of Cups and we've got at the, at the other end, the bookmarking is the Ten of Cups. Completion of a cycle, an emotional completion. We've got the King of Cups again, this energy, and then bringing forth a new plan broadening the horizons, but just bringing in forth a new plan where they can stand at this cliff and look out to the future. At the moment, they can't really look to the future, Ukraine, because they're, they're in this conflict. It's, it's, but this is them being able to look to the future and their freedom. And then we've got the world card. The birth of something significantly new, bringing abundance for all. On the base, we've got death and rebirth, a significant ending of a cycle and a new beginning. The Eight of Pentacles looking at a range of options available. It's also a, um, a moon cycle as well. So, a month perhaps? If that would be nice. Uh, the Six of Swords packing up the truth. Again, Six of Swords packing up uh, reality and moving forward, planting the seeds for the new beginning. Queen of Pentacles again, bringing forth another. We've, we've got the King and Queen healing and the Ten of Pentacles. The completion of a cycle, celebration of families and legacies. So I do feel, I really feel like it's almost imminent that uh, this change is coming. Oh man, I know we've been saying it for years, but there's been so many on ramps and off ramps. If if Ukraine had received the funding from the start, uh, if Ukraine had received the uh, support and these F-16s that have been on offer for ever. There's a lot of on and off ramps that have occurred due to personal choice, but I really do feel that um, the change is imminent. Okay, I'm just going to move into neutral territory. Uh, if you like this deck, it's just, it's a storytelling deck that I created for myself. It's in the more dot, 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 um, uh, the Etsy listing. Um, but yeah, giving and receiving help, in giving and receiving help <laughs> is the future. Let's have a look. Show me. 
the Ukraine conflict going forward, what do we need to know? Ukraine conflict going forward. Oops. Ukraine conflict going forward. A number of readers and astrologers who have seen that Trump and uh, Putin are intricately entwined. Um, when Trump goes down, now I personally, uh, I don't believe that Putin is alive. I cannot pick him up. I've seen um, three more drawers being opened as the as the powers that be try to decide which Putin to put on display. Um, and it's almost that once Trump goes down, this change takes place. Okay. Right, come on down. U Ukraine, go, is the key. Movement forward is the key. Giving the go-ahead is key to their fate and destiny, plus foreign aid, comfort and abundance. Foreign comfort and abundance. So I'll just put one more on the end there. Bringing in abundance, the future is not yet written. Again, we've got personal choice and destiny. I'm really feeling that when the when the fighters come, okay, there's no money there yet, but go, movement going, being given the go-ahead. I don't quite know what the go-ahead is, but there's something where they're given the go-ahead that's going to be key that from uh, that will bring about their fate and destiny. Uh, where foreign is included, abundance, comfort, interesting with the cat. Oh, thank you. I just got told childless cat women. Um, yeah, I'm going to say now, I don't know whether uh, President Harris, I'm going to say President Harris has cats, um, but she's going to bring some sort of abundance here. The majority want peace and the positive energy throughout the world will bring this to an end. Difficult message about loyalty from overseas entities. We've got yes. How overseas entities will be shown to be the cowardness of cowardness of some overseas entities. It's almost like uh, it will foretell the collapse of other places like North Korea, uh, the Chinese, uh, Xi Jinping ruling. It's not going to happen overnight. But there's going to be difficult messaging about the, the overseas support that Russia received. Secrets, bullseye, down, that are going to bring them down because there will be written written documents of some sort. We've then got the rebuilding social media with the flip of rule. I don't see, I, I haven't seen uh, Zelensky being the leader of Ukraine after this is over. Uh, I see him stepping down. Um, he's done his bit and there will be a new rebuilding leader. But we've got real flipping devil energy. Notice the devil's under this chicken here. So what I'm feeling is that there's something here via social media that will bring down, flip this um, cowardice ruling 
whether it's within Russia or whether it's within other countries. Those that were loyal to Russia are going to show their cowardness. May even be some Kremlin members trying to flee and be exposed, giving help for this conflict within the country will bring joy. So there's more help to come and anger at the slowness of it, understandably. We've got the networks bringing growth and the feminine energy, my Yulia Navalny energy. We've got the main male in the past, the money. To me, this is Putin, not so much uh, Zelensky because Putin set himself up as a king or the Putin energy or just those in the Kremlin. I'm going to say he's already passed due to money interests. Because the faith in, in him to provide security is empty, was empty, didn't exist any longer. Okay. <clears throat> Again, I'm, I'm getting uh, support for Ukraine, but anger that it takes so long to get there <clears throat> through the networks. But we have the rise of the feminine here. <clears throat> Might be a new female leader who undertakes this rebuilding, but also in Russia as well. So that's pretty much it. It just, again, it's heralding that there is uh, something that is coming fairly quickly that is the key to this future. It's coming from overseas. Um, the future is not yet written, though, so there is still personal choice. But the majority of people around the world support peace and want this to end. And it's not going to end well for those that back the wrong team. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Love to you all. Bring it on. Take care.